Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Gem Geminis. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the third week of July 2017. And in this week, we have the energy of justice, which is wonderful. Justice is an air sign. Justice is a positive energy for you guys. It's going to be as very positive weeks for you, Geminis. Um, and... Um, um, you need to use the energy vibration in this week the zodiac energy is going to be water and it changed on Sunday to fire what is happening for you here on Sunday it's just uh, um, nothing to worry about it's just the seven of Pentacles in reverse so some people have been working but yet still the wheel of fortune is going to bring you money on Sunday so that is just a change that is going to affect you on Sunday because the zodiac energies have changed on Sunday but it's going to be good anyway for the rest of the week okay your week is not a week of love it's more a week of because uh, you Gemini's have not been concentrating that much on love it's all about your financial aspect your financial background your financial um, security so this is what you guys have been working on good news is coming in on Monday um, for a lot of people and on uh, and and you know clarity is coming in on Thursday in a strength is going to be balancing out this week but yet still your focus in this week is going to be the wheel of fortune so I've always said justice and wheel of fortune your week can never ever go wrong because justice is the energy of air which is your own energy vibration and it brings balance but yet still equilibrium and all of that sort of a thing but yet still with the wheel of fortune if you have been vibrating on a positive energy vibration your entire life then you are going to see changes it's just spots of changes new things a wonderful possibilities that will be coming in and will be happening for you love is going to be wonderful um, and a lot of people love is good it's as if your love is good so you have nothing to worry about this week the number seven is going to be your number in this week the number seven is a focus the number seven and number ten because you have your focus is the wheel of fortune in this week and the wheel of fortune the energy of the wheel of fortune is wonderful because it has different different aspect it has all four elements and it's supporting you even though you're vibrating in a week where um, it is water and fire and that is always cleansing love is so powerful for you guys it's not as if your your own main focus is on love it is about you providing for your family and that sort of a thing in the beginning of the week on Monday there is a wonderful messages coming in this for some people is going to affect you in your love life so good news is coming in about your love life for some people it's going to affect you in business so if you have a business associates that sort of a thing good news wonderful positive energies is going to come in and this is going to be good because this is good news that is coming from people that really wants to support you and connect with you so like of good friends of people who you know are going to connect with you and said you know I have uh, you know I want you on my team or that sort of a thing and uh, positive new energies is coming in for you Gemini's because uh, you know it's you air people are and especially for you Gemini's this is your year and this year you guys are going to um, bring in so much positive things in your life and so many positive energy which is just going to support you for the rest of your life so you know good news um, it's coming in and remember because um, some people said yeah well it didn't happen for me it didn't happen for me because your old attitude and your old mental and the way you look at things and what you send out to the universe then it's not going to come in for you so you know be aware of how you deal with certain aspects um, it's a little bit dark <laughs> so I'm gonna put my glasses on to see the next energy we have the queen of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is a wonderful wonderful energy the queen of pentacles the queen of pentacles is someone who is very stable she has stable in her life she she balances out everything in her life she thinks about everything that she does so this could be a Taurus woman a Virgo or a Capricorn and this is a very, very good person to be on your side because this person is going to bring you 
and it's going to connect with you and it's going to help you to make a good um, possibilities and good changes in your life so you know this is good because this woman is going to bring you news and this is going to be good news so this is another earth energy because you had water um, in the beginning um, which is the two of cups and that is you know um, positive positive news is coming in on Monday but on Tuesday you have um, um, the king of um, Pentacles and king of Pentacles is going to bring in balance in your life so it could be that it could be that it's your mom for some people so look around if your mom is uh, um, a Capricorn a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn look around if, if, if that's your mom if not this woman is going to um, you know open up you to you know you know <laughs> good experience good things and it's going to be extremely positive for you in the middle of the week what we have here we are the seven of ones so in the middle of the week there is a sense of protection that is going on and you need in it you know the old you know because whatever crowns your week which is the seven of ones you need to protect yourself but by the same time you're protecting yourself you need also to have find the inner strength so the seven of ones is always the energy of uh, the passion the fire um, power you know whatever the energy is in this week that is governing in you this seven of ones is pr protection but in the sense that you're protecting yourself uh, you are also finding in a strength so you know Wednesday is going to be a fire day for a lot of people so you know whenever this energy come in from you for you air people this this sort of a fire within you the sort of a fire that you have to protect yourself the sort of a fire that you have to find the inner strength it's going to happen for you so you have no need to worry on Thursday we have the energy of the fool another major arcana this is good because it's the air side for some people you're going to start a new journey work will be coming in for a lot of people a lot of people will be seeing and understanding certain aspects in their life will be very very understanding and seeing a lot of stuff you know this is going to be extremely positive because what you're seeing here and what you're looking at is that you're realizing how very positive certain aspects are and you're seeing clarity to certain things and you're going on a new journey but yet still you're building something which is wonderful in your life and this is extremely good for you um, Gemini so whoever you are out there and you're thinking about changing and making positive endeavors in your life positive changes in your life it's going to be super super good it's going to be a good time for you to do that because you are going to have clarity and begin a new journey for yourself as we move on we have the energy of strength and this energy of strength is positive because strength for you guys is in this week a lot of you guys have to find the inner strength whether is it with love whether is it with your work whether is it in your business whether was is it, is it in your private life or your public life your inner life or your outer life strength on Friday is going to be very important whoever you are and if you're a man and you're having a relationship with a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion you need to find inner strength because this woman is going to be on top of you this woman is going to make you crazy you Gemini so whoever this woman is she can be a cancer she can be um, she can be a cancer she can be a Pisces or she can be a Scorpio. Whoever this woman is, be aware because you need inner strength to deal with this woman. Because some of you have been in the wrong relationship because whoever this person is is very unbalanced, very immature, very emotional. You guys don't do emotional, okay? Some of you don't do emotional. So whoever is out there, whether you're a woman and you're with a, you're in a relationship with a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpion. Be aware of what is happening because um, your partner is going to make you very crazy on Friday. You're not liking this. Um, you're going to not liking this. You're going to just 
close her off whatever is happening okay we're moving forward and on Saturday we have the four of Pentacles which is wonderful your financial situations in is is in balance which is good I am liking this whenever the four of Pentacles comes up and you know if even people think that you're you, you know you don't want to give out anything or whatever but when the four of Pentacles comes up you're working on something it's like you're saving because you have a goal you're looking towards a goal and you're saving so if you don't want to give out and people are thinking that you're being mean or whatsoever it is it's okay because you're saving for a goal you want to invest in yourself and it's like people who think I'm going to do another courses and they don't really want to save the money for it and they don't want to really give out the money so you know whatever and whoever you are and and, and you know it is your personal thing and if you are saving towards something do that and do not be afraid of what other people might say that you're mean or whatsoever don't you don't have to do it you know you really don't have to do it on Sunday you have the energy of the seven of Pentacles in reverse and that's okay it's okay um, seven of pentacles in reverse is okay because you have worked on something and now you're waiting and the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of riches a lot of success a lot of luck the wheel of fortune is going to bring you so sometimes you, you will think that things are on the downside but actually behind the veil and in the spirit world your guides and angels are preparing something for you that is you know be beyond the scope of your own imagination so whatever is happening be aware that things are going to be okay okay I'm breaking down your week and uh, what's happening in the beginning of the week what's going to happen in the end of the week uh, at beginning of the week you have um, the water um, the cups energy but it's the two of cups the two of cups is bringing a wonderful endeavor because what is happening is that whoever is going to be the energy of uh, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn person she is going to bring good news to you but yet still she's going to help you to manifest money in your life which is good she is going to be very positive she's she's a business person and you know I, I Capricorn people you are or Virgo people or Taurus people or earth people if you're going in business with them you know that this business is going to be a success because they're very hard-working people and they're they, you know whatever they promise they're loyal and whatever they promise they will do it you know so you know that, that is something that you need to understand as we look at the second half of the week you're going on a new journey because certain aspect you're seeing certain things and you're going on a new journey and this could be people or um, um, people are going towards looking for new love in their lives whatever the case is whatever the scenario is for because it will affect different people in different ways whatever journey or whatever whatever you're planning on changing in your life go ahead and do it because the wheel of fortune is bringing you someone in your life okay this person is a karmatic there is a karmatic situation that is going on with this person and you need to find inner strength to deal with this person so the second half of the week is not going to be one of those nice positive because what is happening is that you want to start a new journey you want to um, leave a situation behind and start a new journey but yet still you know you're in you're on the karma wheel so you need to clear up these karma that you're having with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion so be aware of what is happening because this situation here that is happening needs to be healed your focus and the real couple over the week is the seven of ones and I love when a week is governed or the seven of ones and many people do not understand that but when you get more understanding why because it's your inner power it's you know it's a sense of you protecting yourself yourself but it's a sense of standing your grounds and finding inner strength to deal with situations around you and this week would be the the, the week of inner strength for you guys so whatever is happening you need to find inner strength in this week because definitely something is going to change love life love for this week for you guys changes are coming in you have a situation with the two with with the with a Pisces 
a cancer or a Scorpio you have a situation you have a relationship you're in a relationship and you're finally seeing something about this relationship you want to leave this relationship this relationship is you want to leave this relationship whoever you are and I'm getting that the energy vibration for it leaving this relationship and thinking about leaving this relationship is a man as men who are having relationship with water sign people you want to leave that relationship behind so for the men out there is as if you know this relationship came in my life and it has been happening in my life and it's a karmatic relationship it's obviously a karmatic relationship but your partner um, you need inner strength to deal with your partner and you're thinking I don't have the time for this I am focused on business I'm focused on getting things done I don't have the emotional roller coaster time because these water people can be very emotion and you are someone who is just out there trying to get things done for yourself trying to get um, business the men are always looking at ways how they can you know financially support themselves and their family but your relationship is you know you want to move away from whatever is happening in your relationship in this week it's obviously something is happening that this relationship is getting too emotional for you and you want to move away from it and new love is going to come in and you are going to find new love with whosoever is connecting with Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn people because there your heart is. But it's as if you are with this person uh, or you have connected with this person or this person is at work for some people, you work with this person, but you fell in love with this person. So the, the effect of this relationship that you're in at home, it's not really working out for you anymore. It's as if, uh, you know, I want to elevate myself with someone who is, you know, elevating themselves, someone who is up there bringing in something to the table. You know, I want to have something else in my life. I'm not fulfilled. My, my fulfillment, my, uh, my feelings is not for this person anymore. So you are looking to walk away towards uh, someone of a hurt sign, which is, uh, Again, the tallest, the Virgo, the Capricorn, and here you were looking to walk away to this woman because uh, that woman seems to be bringing in things that is um, fulfilling you at the same time, but is um, bringing uh, in extra um, financial stability in your life. So this a situation it can be for a man or it can be for a woman because if it was a woman and she's with a, a cancer or a Pisces or a, a, a scorpion you'd be looking for a man or you're connecting with a man via your work via um, um, connection at work school group connection so it, it's gonna affect each and every person in different ways okay so these are the elements of what is going on in love because people are not being fulfilled with their relationship with these water sign because these water sign people can be extremely emotional and you Gemini's are not in the field to be emotion so in the form of love you are having a situation in your relationship for the people only for the people who are having relationships with water sign people which is the um, Pisces cancers and uh, um, Scorpion and you're looking forward to move away you're looking for new love new love you're looking for new love because you need to have inner strength to deal with this relationship because this is a karmatic situation that is going on here and you need to look for inner strength to deal with this relationship and you're looking forward because you're moving away you want to move forward to someone who is a hurt energy person who is a Taurus a Virgo or Capricorn so you know if that's what your heart is asking for if that's what you're feeling go for it you know and it, this is the love section is only affecting the people who are with water sign who wants to move to the the earth sign people and and this is what is affecting you in this week but for the rest love you're looking for new love you you know you you can't do this roller coaster 
in the roller coaster emotional situation anymore and you're looking for something better in your life when I come on to business for you guys in this week or work and business is going to be wonderful because at work you're billing good news or coming in so you know you could be getting a promotion or something you have made it to you know some place and this is going to be good so you know things could be ha things are happening for you at work uh, for the people in business it's going to be a wonderful time because a lot of um, abundance a lot of money will be coming in your life you know new things are coming in your life and this is going to be good okay we are working with the conscious spirit we need to know that they're there we're calling up on the conscious spirit this is also is an oracle deck conscious spirit oracle deck so I'm working with two oracle deck this week and you guys got the hair element okay you guys got the hair element you are a hair element okay and what it says is that I embrace the element of hair and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom. I embrace the element of hair and I'm open to all knowledge and wisdom. And this is very good for you guys. Write this affirmation down and constantly say it because you're a hair sign. So you're embrace, you know, you embrace the element of hair and is open to all knowledge and wisdom. And you know when you do that you will understand how wonderful it is to really connect with the universal angels and <clears throat> and, and accept who you are as an air person because we're all changing our zodiac energy vibration as we go on to the year 2032 we're all changing it so I'm working also with the Oracle the wisdom of the Oracle and let's see what the wisdom of the Oracle wants to say to you Gemini's this week peace oh my god the most beautiful beautiful energy peace I love the energy of peace this is super 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 wonderful the energy of peace is going to be a wonderful this is one of my positive and most um, positive cards that I always want to use is the energy of peace and whenever the energy of peace comes in it's going to be such a profound wonderful wonderful um, situations coming in your life because peace is so positive freedom from attachment radical acceptance it doesn't get any better than this a quiet mind a heart fulfilled freedom from wants and the soul of satisfaction the way to peace is through radical acceptances everything in your world is exactly how it should be harmony is beautiful enjoy it so this is wonderful so in relationships when two people are in true alignment with themselves with another they have an intimate harmony between themselves there are two a uh, perfectly true instrument playing together sometimes it's possible to tell who is who um, peace is yours and yours to support this this is so perfectly wonderful people this is one of the times when those capable of peace work have to create your prosperity whatever you're doing keep on doing it you're called by a present to step in to your power okay so this is really a week because the energy of air comes up so you're called by a price a, a present to step in your power and this is extremely extremely good because when you do this just being enough for you are in peaceful harmony with spirit and it shows in everything that you do so this is just extremely wonderful so I always love the energy when the energy of peace comes up because it's a very positive energy and it is saying to each and every one of us look inside we need to find the inner peace with us and I'm leaving you with that message I want to say please listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign thumbs up and we'll talk